All right, hello everyone. Welcome back to Cause Streams TV. And who's excited? Because we are officially done week one of season one of the war within so what are we going to talk about first of all i just want to say i'm super excited for season one officially i don't really think season one starts until mythic plus opens but we did have a bunch of stuff we could do last week during week one because we had our dells released we had uh, mythic zeros released and there's a whole bunch of stuff we can kind of fly around and enjoy in the war within so that's what we're going to talk about we're going to talk about the different activities i did on all of my characters obviously i focused heavily on my death knight I had to make sure that all of his weeklies were done so let's just jump right into it and we're going to talk about all the different things we did first let's start off with my death knight so that means last week with the raid being open we ended up taking the dk into the normal raid my guild did as well as the heroic raid uh we had 30 people in our group and boy oh boy was frame rates a problem it was like we're playing the game and i've got everything lowered to one regardless my frame rates took a massive dump i was playing between 20 to 30 fps and i do not have a slouch of a computer so regardless we got through it we did okay our parses are okay they should improve a little bit but overall i was wondering what the difference would be going from beta into retail i'm happy to say that the difficulty scaling definitely feels perfect in heroic we were uh, i was about 594 item level and honestly it felt great like it was challenging things hit hard you had to use your defensives i'm very happy with with the tuning that Blizzard brought into retail and i have also taken the time to actually post all of our heroic kills in my new playlist you'll see that at the top right of your screen right now take a look at that if you're interested i will have each heroic boss and then we will be starting mythic this week week two as soon as i get some mythic boss kills i will be posting those as well so take a look if you're curious it's from a death knight pov and then there are comps as well if you're kind of curious as to what our raid leader is saying so yeah go take a look at that if you're interested link in the description down below and then the info card was on the right a little earlier so take a look at that the death knight felt fantastic going into raid we started the week off at 585 item level uh going into the raid we were about 594 and honestly he felt great i did do some mythic zeros we'll talk about that in a second and i did also do a lot of dells which we're going to talk about in its own little segment a little later but when it comes to the dk he really did feel good in all the content he was doing obviously as i'm getting more gear i'm a little more confident with him uh so we end up finishing the week at 599.25 now the funny thing here is that the requirement for this week to get into mythic is 600 item level i do in my bags have a 603 belt which i can replace the crafted one i have right now so i can hit that the challenge I'm having is I still have a 580 neck and I have ran every dungeon that drops it and I'm not getting any luck in, any luck in delves. So that is a problem. But again, I'll be 600 because I can replace my belt. So I'll be doing some mythic bosses this week. Overall, the DK feels fantastic. I'm looking forward to mythic plus opening up. I'm looking forward to getting into mythic raids. So that is what the week is going to look like for him next week. So keep an eye out for those mythic videos that I will be posting. We should have our AOTC by then as well. So that's the plan for this week on the DK. Lots of mythic plus as well. Obviously, that's going to happen all right and it is like christmas in september we have our vault we are opening it in on holy spec on our dk let's take a look at what we have in his vault i'm super excited the first vault of season one well how's it looking oh it's looking loaded all right let's take a look at what we get today we have oh it's unfortunate that they're shoulders because we could catalyze the ones we have but we do have heroic tear track shoulders we have a neck piece unfortunately it's really oh, the speed and the crit is fantastic the haste is kind of meh my haste is already too high Ooh, and then we have the heroic track chest piece also tier this is huge two tier pieces oh then we're looking at 603 hands obviously that's enough i don't think i'm going to take anything from the mythic dungeon track we got 603 crit verse this is a fantastic ring uh, obviously none of these are upgrades and then we have the belt as well which i already actually have a 603 in my bags we're also looking at a 616 crit mastery back piece oh really good back piece actually some really weird trinket not gonna take that and then we also have shoulders once again at 616 so realistically like as nice as it would be to probably take this back because of the high crit and the mastery and it is a massive upgrade i mean i'll get it back from mythic plus there's really no reason to run this so the chest piece drops from avanax 
and then I can catalyze the shoulder. So I'm really torn because if I can change it up, I'd probably take this back piece. So I might actually wait for our raid tonight. So I am going to hold off on taking any on DK right now. It's looking like I want to take the chest, but because we're running, we're going to be running raid doing normal and heroic. So I may get some tier out of there. So it might not even be worth taking this in my vault today. So I'm going to hold off on taking anything and wait for raid tonight. One of the other characters I worked on as well was my monk as a brewmaster. I mean, I love brewmaster last season. I continue to play it this season. It feels just as good as it did. It does a ton of AOE damage, which is just, it's unbelievable how much damage monks do in AOE situations. It's really fun to play. So because my DK was my focus, I didn't do a lot on the monk. I did kind of fly around, do some world quests, a couple things here and there, but primarily I did do two of the delves that I needed, two tier eights. So we will have a vault slot. We look at that again. Monk feels great. We finish. I think last week he was still in the 571 item level range and just quickly taking a look now going into the first week of mythic plus we are at 581.56 so i think he's in good standing she got a few lucky pieces uh from the delves so i think she's in good in a good spot to actually jump in and do some of the mythic pluses and see how they feel i will try to get her some gear but we still do have a vault to open so let's see what she gets on that and taking a look at what the monk is going to get in his vault, we are opening his vault in Windwalker spec. See if we can get some DPS trinkets and whatnot, but let's see what he gets. So we did the one delve and we did the one mythic plus dungeon. So we did get champion track tier from the mythic and we did get a, oh, that is a really beefy neck piece. But because it's early in the season and we want to start moving towards getting our tier, we are taking the tier shoulders to get started on the Monk. And surprisingly, these shoulders fit this tier set fairly well. Anyway, Monk's 584.81 going into the week. And another character that I actually spent some decent amount of time on was my warrior. I did get the delves done on him as well. I actually have four tier eight delves done on my warrior. Uh, I mainly soloed them just because it, we'll talk about this a little later. This, I don't know if Blizzard knows what they want to do with delves, but we'll touch on that in a minute. But the warrior did end up running normal raid and his four tier eight delves. So he will have a decent vault. He ends up finishing the week at 578.06 item level. He did get a couple pieces. This is the only character currently that I have that has a tier piece so he was lucky enough to get the head so i'm very excited to see what he gets out of his vault and i will most likely continue to play him because the warrior did feel pretty good in the content that i was doing i did solo tier 8 delves and they felt fine um it didn't take as long as you would think as a tank and i had brawn as a healer right so yeah i'm very happy with how the warrior did i will continue to play him going into the mythic plus season but let's take a look at what he gets in his vault all right, I'm always so excited when it's vault time. So on the warrior, we will keep it in prot spec because, I mean, he still needs shields and weapons and all that fun stuff. So we're opening the vault in prot. He will have the normal raid and delves. Let's see what it looks like. All right, shabam. First of all, the delves. We've got this strength trinket. We have a back piece as well crit mastery with avoidance that's actually pretty good and from the normal raid we have the, our tier shoulders at normal track we have boots which would be a massive upgrade but i mean tier and then we also have wrists again massive upgrade but tier so honestly just to kind of get the warrior moving i'm gonna take his tier if he's getting the advantage of tier we're taking his shoulders which will actually give him uh that is such a minor upgrade too compared to that but that will give my warrior his two piece so the warrior is going into the week at 579.06 item level. And we have a couple extra surprise vaults this week. We did do two delves tier eights on the druid. So he will also have at least one delve slot at 616. So let's see what the druid gets. We're opening it in feral form or feral, feral spec. And he gets a two handed 616 weapon. That is a impressive vault. Like that is lucky for him. But hell yeah, we're going to take that on the druid. Bringing his eye level up to 560.25 to start the week. And our last surprise vault is on our Arcane Mage. We did do LFR on the Arcane Mage. So that is about all I did. So let's just quickly open the vault. Let's see what the Arcane Mage gets. Hey, maybe we get some tier. Anything's kind of an upgrade. So we got shoulders. I mean, it's better than what we have now. And like we could catalyze it if I don't really play it much. But yeah, we'll take the shoulders on the mage. And that is it for the vaults for this week. Week one. Ah, oh, Christmas came early. I love it. 
So as we mentioned a few times throughout this video, I was going to touch on Dells in its own little section. So let's jump into Dells and kind of what my thoughts are so far. I'm really struggling to understand what Blizzard's vision is of Dells. So when the reset went live last week, I was doing, I was leveling up my Dells. So I did my tier four or five, whatever, all the way up to tier eight. Now I did my tier four and tier five solo. It felt fine. It was a little slow on the DK. And then someone's like, hey, do them in groups. They're way faster. So I jumped into a group with a, with a bunch of guildies and so not even kidding you we went from tier three to tier eight in almost no time it was so much easier we were able to pull the majority it was like doing a heroic dungeon where you can pull the majority of the room and just nuke it all down and it was kind of fun right like they were quick and easy and you just would burn through it i don't know if that was what kind of sparked what was going on but because of that blizzard actually ended up buffing the delves and i can't remember if it was tuesday or thursday after raid but we went in and did a delve and we got destroyed i am not kidding you the delve hurt so bad we had a group of four we ended up using all of our deaths in the first 20 minutes we're like you know what let's go out and reset we'll go a little slower i was getting incre hit incredibly hard as a tank like I would get one shot by mechanics, even with my defensives running. So it was not a pleasant thing. It took us an hour to do one delve. All right. And then I kind of didn't really want to do them after that. And, but again, Blizzard ended up making a blue post saying they are aware of the problems and they're working on the scaling. So I went back in throughout Saturday and Sunday. I did a couple with a group and they were actually more challenging than when I went in and did it solo. Now, my understanding is that Blizz wants this to be solo content. So as a tank, I could easily go in solo the content and get it done there's a couple spicy moments but overall it was fine however i would not want to try this on my mage or on my chamois i feel like they would have a difficult time getting through this or even other dps classes so i still think blizzard's image for delves is going to evolve and change and i think for the positive i think it's a great source for solo players to jump in and still get relevant gear like in the vault you had 616 gear from doing delves so i think it's a great idea of what they're cooking they just gotta they just gotta you know mix a couple more ingredients in there to make it something that's a lot of fun the other thing i want to mention with dells is they are not all the same some dells are actually kind of enjoyable other ones are beyond frustrating one of the dells uh waterworks and earthen mines i think they are absolutely terrible especially waterworks where you have to carry around that little device to stay in the air bubble i was not enjoying that one um some of the ones that you do that are underwater they're okay as well but then there's also occurrences in the water one where i'd go jump over something and get stuck behind a rock and slip off the edge it was very frustrating at times overall we did manage to get the majority of our Dells done across a few of our alts so it was nice to get some 6 616 gear out of that for me i am still 50 50 on delves i'm doing them right now because it's mandatory for the raid team but i think once mythic plus opens i can solely focus on that instead but i might still take some alts through it for easy 616 gear at the start of the expansion one of the other things you get from Dells is these radiant echoes that give you the world soul visions i still am confused as to what the point is is i understand you get coffer keys and you kind of go kill stuff but there's no loot you're running around killing bosses that randomly appear and then just when it's over everything just despawns and you're out of it and then you get a reward it was first what i did was very jarring i'm like why am i here what is this i was you know some people are killing stuff which is nice like i think if you're in a group you get way more rewards like i did the one where i did five radiant echoes that i provided and i got like 122 of the mini coffer keys that you could turn into a full coffer key for the bountiful delves uh, so i don't know I'm, I'm a little confused as to what the world souls are supposed to be with like the world soul visions that's all new to me i guess we'll kind of see how that plays out i guess i'll still do them i i have no idea maybe there's an achievement i need to get so i may look into all that but right now i'm kind of like i don't understand the point of this when it comes to the world souls and let's jump into the mount collection for this week so we're going to talk about our underwrought attempt so first let's get the mount that we still didn't get and will continue to farm i said last week i'm going to keep farming this mount on all my characters until i get it so that's what we did we think we ended last week at about 370 attempts for the underwrought mount well this week we are up to 391 attempts and still no mount so after the reset i will try to uh, restart my journey of farming this mount i also have not gotten the lurker of the deeps yet and we also haven't got the one from a grad pinnacle however that is not all in vain because we did gain two mounts this week one of them being from the trading post so if you complete all the rewards at the end there was a mount it's just another variant of the crocodile mount that was already there so here it is the same one that we had that we got the week prior this one has a nice treasure chest on it some candles as if you're stealing it from the cobalts so yeah another really cool mount but anyway so that we got the the plunder lords golden crocolisk and the other mount we got because 
because we were doing so many of the delves we ended up getting the mount for all of the delve achievements the delvers dread driggable the delvers uh, dare dirigible i uh, uh, yeah that one so it is just a wooden airship it's i don't know cool i guess i doubt i'll really use it but hey that's what we got as well so we got two mounts this week so not everything was in vain from running all those under rods so i hope you guys have been enjoying week one because i know i have it's been nice to play some alts it's been nice to play my main it's been nice to kind of work on the story it's been a really laid back last few weeks but this week week two what is our plan we all know that mythic plus is finally releasing so there is going to be a heavy push in mythic plus that's where the gear is going to start coming from and we definitely need it if we plan on going into mythic raid it is going to help us as much as possible so definitely on tuesdays and thursday i will be streaming we'll be doing the stream for the raid on tuesday I believe we're doing normal and heroic and then jumping right into mythic on thursday with an added raid night of monday i may also stream that as well well, so be prepared for that you may get an extra stream night overall that is going to be the plan for this week we're going to do mythic plus on our dk we're going to do try and do mythic plus on some of our alts to at least have vaults so that way they don't fall too far behind when it comes to gearing and outside of that i'm going to keep working my professions i didn't really talk about them here because professions seem to be something really hard to keep up with so all i've mainly been doing is collecting my alchemy herbs so that i can make my potions and flasks for raid because i figure i'm going to use those the most so far I'm, i've had enough tempered potions to use throughout raid so i haven't had to buy any that is what the week is looking like and i'm excited to jump into mythic raid to see how hard these bosses hit and what the changes are from beta i'm excited to start pushing my item level and my io in mythic plus and that's the end of the recap for season one week one i hope you guys are having a fantastic journey in the war within i hope you're achieving all of the goals that you wanted in this game and i hope you're just as excited for the release of mythic plus as i am until next time i will see you guys in kazalgar or in the mythic plus battlefield have a good one everyone peace out